Right fertilization is the single most important factor to take your maize farm from this to this. However, that is where most people get it wrong. As more and more plants and crops or even weeds grow on a piece of land, the soil gradually loses its nutrients. For example, for every ton of whole plant corn harvest, we remove from the soil about 25 kilograms of nitrogen, 5 kilograms of phosphorus, and 20 kilograms of potassium. That means that if you want to regrow maize or any other thing on that land the coming years, you will need to replace these lost nutrients in order to have a satisfactory corn yield for the years to come. As a rule of thumb, you will need to supplement about 100 kilograms of nitrogen, 280 kilograms of phosphorus, and 100 kilograms of potassium per hectare in order to achieve this. But it is very important to understand which nutrient is necessary for the plant growth and at what stage. Otherwise, if you apply a nutrient at the wrong time, you may harm your crops instead. The good news though is that you will know the right way to fertilize maize farms, which is also backed by research at the end of this video. But I must chip this in first. The cost of fertilizers is peaking insanely in Ghana right now. For instance, urea which was priced at 406 Ghana cities in the last quarter of 2023 was priced at 421 Ghana cities in the first quarter of 2024, reflecting a 4% increase. And this threatens the profitability of Ghanaian farmers as fertilizers account for almost half of the cost involved in maize production. In the next video I will upload on this channel, I will teach you how to cut down cost of fertilizers in maize farming. Subscribe to this channel now so you don't miss that one. Okay great, the two main fertilization strategies you would want to consider for your maize farm are the basal fertilization and foliar fertilization. Basal application fertilizers are applied near the base of the sown seed, usually one day before or after sowing. For maize, the most important nutrient necessary at this early stage is phosphorus. Therefore, you will need to apply fertilizers with large amounts of phosphorus and a little of both nitrogen and potash. Get for example a fertilizer with NPK value of 10, 30, 10 and bury about 5 to 10 grams of this fertilizer 2 inches below and 2 inches beside each hole containing 2 seeds. After this, the next fertilization will be at the stem elongation stage. This stage begins about 4 to 5 weeks after germination. This corn growth stage can predict the number of grains that will develop in a given crop grow. At this stage of the plant growth, corn needs the most nitrogen along with plenty of water and other nutrients. It is therefore necessary to this time apply a fertilizer with higher nitrogen content. For example, one with NPK value of 4600. Simply put, get urea fertilizer at this stage. The main function of urea fertilizer is to provide the plants with nitrogen to promote green leafy growth and make the plants look lush. Urea also aids the photosynthesis process of plants. Foliar fertilization comes at around the 7th and 8th month. Foliar fertilizer can be used on maize to improve the nutrient uptake of plants. Sometimes you realize that you have applied the right fertilizers like NPK and urea, but still the plants look stunned. This could be that the plants are unable to take up the nutrients. Foliar fertilizers will help the plants to take up nutrients. It is applied as a spray to the leaves and stalk of the plant. Foliar fertilizer should be applied when the plant is actively growing, typically during the vegetative growth stage. Get one of these foliar fertilizers and spray your farm using the recommended dosage. And that is it. You will see the biggest harvest ever. Now, note that this is not the only way to go about it. You may have other ways you have done this, and I would love to know about it in the comment section. What I have taught you has proven to be effective and has been replicated by many farmers around the world. I am confident it will give you same results if you follow it carefully. Since you have learned some valuable stuff from this video, kindly subscribe to the channel for the next one.